Hey, it's Kaylee, and this lesson is on Newton's third law. Before starting this lesson, it will be helpful if you've already completed the modules, Newton's first law and Newton's second law, and already watched the video and done the practice problems for action-reaction forces. Remember this guy? Sir Isaac Newton. We've been talking about him a lot, and this is his third law. It goes, for every action, there is an equal and opposite action. And we can interpret the word action as force. And we rewrite this as, for every force, there is an equal and opposite force. Remember, we used action-reaction pairs to explain how a space shuttle takes off. We said the downward force of the fuel exhaust exerts on the ground is met with an upward force that the ground pushes up on the fuel exhaust, and that's what gives the spacecraft an unbalanced force so it can take off. So that's what action-reaction force pairs are. They equal and opposite forces. Now we're going to do a quick lab at home to see what Newton really means by his third law. You'll need a skateboard and a heavy ball like a basketball or a soccer ball soccer ball and flat smooth ground like a patio or sidewalk. So you're going to be sitting on the skateboard with your feet tucked in and your hands off the ground and you're going to hold the basketball or the soccer ball in your hand and what you're going to do is you're going to throw the ball forward pretty far to a friend or a parent to catch the ball and I want you to make a prediction before you go ahead and throw the ball about what do you think will happen to you when you throw the ball so you know the ball is going to go forward to your friend or parent or whoever's catching the ball. But what do you think will happen to you and the skateboard? So go ahead and get your materials and head outside and give it a try. If you don't have a skateboard or you don't have a ball or you aren't able to complete the lab on your own, that's totally fine. You can continue watching and watch my friend try it out. Go ahead and pause the video here to go outside and try this on your own. Otherwise, Keep watching now to watch my friend try. Welcome back from your lab. So what happened? You threw the ball forward, right? So you exerted a forward force on the ball and it went forward as you would expect because it had an unbalanced force on it. But what happened to you? You went backwards. And that's because the ball exerted an equal and opposite force on you. So now you had an unbalanced force pointing in the opposite direction of the direction that you threw the ball and that caused you to accelerate. You could experiment with this later by throwing the basketball with more or less force and see if it makes you roll farther or less far, or try adding more friction. So put your skateboard on grass or on sand and see if the friction changes the outcome. So now we're gonna look at action-reaction force pairs versus balanced forces. Since action-reaction force pairs are equal and opposite, they often get confused with balance forces like gravity and the normal force. But let's dive into how these two ideas are totally different. Action reaction force pairs act on two different objects, like the hammer and the nail. Each is exerting an equal and opposite force on each other. Or the space shuttle and the ground. They're also exerting a force on each other, two different things. But on balanced forces, act on one object. And the object is experiencing equal and opposite forces on itself that keep it from accelerating. Like you sitting in a chair. Your force of gravity is pushing you down into the chair, but the normal force from the chair is pushing you up. They're both acting on you. Or tug of war, where both teams are pulling with equal force in opposite directions. Both forces are acting on the cart. You can think of this as you pushing on a heavy box. 
You know that you are pushing on the box, and you can feel the box pushing back on you. These are equal and opposite forces that are acting on two different objects, you and the box. And you could cause the box to move forward by giving the box an unbalanced force. But now imagine you and a friend are pushing on either side of a heavy box with equal force. The box is experiencing equal and opposite forces from you and your friend. This means the forces on the box are balanced and the box will not move. Great job learning about Newton's third laws. Keep an eye out for those equal and opposite forces in the real world. And remember to always be clever. Hey, hey.